you. Oh, dude, was that the first time you ever got hit? That was the first time you ever got hit. Konbawa, my Giga Chad, Tashiwa Sayama's future husband desk. All right, today we are finishing the last fight of It Man. Um, I'm skipping the Cotton Factory scene. For those that are new, I'm Giga Chad Taku. I have amateur kickboxing experience with a little bit of Jiu Jitsu. All right, remember to listen to Anya. No bowing from the karate? Dick. South ball? Ortho. Oh, he did it again. He did the fa he did the favorite move that I said uh, that we did highlight in last video. The jumping bicycle kick. Oh shit! What if like the karate guy has like uh, like a kill cushion gear and the sleeves are already rolled up? Oh, what was the stinky leg with the legs? It's very karate to do the two touch on the same leg. Ooh, I like the oblique kick. That is very, very Wing Chun. Dude, was that the first time you ever got hit? That was the first time you ever got hit. I didn't know it man has uh b-boy skills. <laughs> oh he did his favorite move again. The in-between in between head mount. the most damage it man took. Spinning hook kick. I love it. I love it. Calf kick. Kicking the kick. Dude, that's so weird. All my like moves indirectly. Oh, I love the front kicks. Okay, liver shot. All my moves are indirectly Wing Chun. I, I just, the only thing I wouldn't do is like the chest punches. You got his head there, bro. internally bleeding I like the elbows I love the slap hooks and dude I like the thigh kicks <laughs> what if he just just rubbed his chin <laughs> funny our Maggie Ted don't leave that uh, that was definitely a very short fight to end the movie but um it was great uh, the hype progressive build up to this final fight was worth it all right um, instead of doing my favorite scene I'll watch the fight again in slow motion. If I happen to like find a part that I want to highlight, we'll talk about it. Um, I feel like everybody loved the liver punch. And that was cool too, because they were both southpaw in that moment. Um, we don't really get to see a liver punch. I don't even remember the last time I seen a liver punch. Uh, when it was two southpaws versus two southpaws. Because your liver is more exposed in a southpaw versus southpaw match. That was cool. They, they did some like boxing. He's gonna do his favorite technique, the lead jumping bicycle teep. Spinning hook. I love how he's able to kind of like hang with him just a little bit in the close range fight. That's kind of cool. It's like he never, he never went out southpaw. I like that. I can relate. Even though I know how to switch it and like, like do little sneaky switch stanches. Uh, I like I like fucking people up and just in one stance. Uh, if you watch my Kengen content, I talk about it a lot. But there's two different types of fight. In my fight heuristics, go check out my other videos. Oh, what's what's with this stanky leg? The other thing I did I would do differently there because he was fighting like in long range, is I would have like caught the kick. And then done like a lot of uh, catch and attack. I like how he, he occupies two hands for like defense and offense. 
They did the thing I was talking about last fight. The striking and defending at the same time. That is the part I like. Fucking love oblique kicks. It's one of those like kicks you can't really do in um like sparring just because uh you want to be cautious and not hurt your sparring partners. But obviously you use it full force in a fight. Love oblique kicks. <laughs> Such a pronounced throw. Oh, that was cool. That was the first time he ever got hit. Oh, I love that. That's the one thing. Okay, we're going to talk great things about karate right now, which I know is a, a Wing Chun movie, but the one thing I love about karate kicks is they have they use the foot to dig into the body. In Muay Thai, it's mainly just the heel when you try to dig into the body or you're going shin into body. I love how they use their like toes to dig into the body. One fighter that was famous for that in Japan in, in the MMA scene is a guy named Katsunori Kikono. I probably said that wrong. But I love, loved how he used front kicks. It's one of my best moves. It's weird how, like, out of all the things I've been reacting to lately, Wing Chun is the thing that's making me really, really miss training. Just because I, I like, I, I, I sort of move like that, un unironically. That one I call a little bullshit. Throwing someone from their hand to their leg. That's a very... Dude, he would have been killed if he kept hitting the back of the head. That was rare. <laughs> a rare spinning hook kick from a Wing Chun dude. That was cool. Everything is like all linear attacks. That I like. It's very common in like in a kickboxing sports. Like after you... You check a kick to return it back to like the the ground, but sometimes just leaving a, like a leg up to kind of defend, or to kick back is uh, like a sneaky attack. Sanjay does it all the time. He's who's in, he's who's inspired me to do that. Oh, I love the double front kicks. I love how it's lead too. Like if you ever everybody probably loves that part, the fucking move to deliver. I was talking about uh, front kicks, lead front kicks to be specific. It's a very, very awkward kick. I dare you to try that. Go in your ortho or southpaw stance and do a lead front kick. It's a weird kick that like has you off balance versus having like a rear front kick. But it's a great attack. Everybody loved that part. The little boxing flurry. I just don't agree with like the chest part. You can destroy him in his face, bro. I don't know, like in kickboxing, uh, it's, it's ideally, I mean, you can body punch in kickboxing. It's just not ideal because the moment like you start going below with punches, you expose your face to the knee. That part was sick. Fucking elbows. Let's go. That part is great. Inside calf kick to a, uh, an oblique kick. That was pretty. Okay, I think that, that has to be my favorite part. Inside leg kick. That was looking like a calf, too. Fucking it man knows MMA. He knows the MMA meta. Dude, inside calf kick. It could have been a kneecap, too, but still. Inside calf kick. Uh, kick to the stomach. And then kicks to the thigh. Oh, that was like a hamstring, but still. Love, 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 love low kicks. Dude, that elbow didn't connect. Look at that. Wait, hold on. Guys, this elbow did not connect. Unless they cut a frame there. This looks nothing close to his face. 